Lisa, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Dear family and friends, we are gathered here today in the sight of God in the presence of this company to witness the union of Cameron Hill and Lisa Verdure. Marriage is a holy estate given by God to fulfill us as individuals and as a couple and to conform us as mature believers into the image of Christ. I remember years ago, when we were still long distance, nervously telling you that I was falling in love with you. And though I might be slightly nervous reading this aloud, when it comes to my love for you, there's no hesitation. Over the years, we've grown closer both in distance and in love, and it has only confirmed what I expect to be true about you. You're kind, loving, intelligent, funny, beautiful, obviously. <laughs> and honestly, the most selfless person I've ever met. With you, I am more confident, patient, and thoughtful. With you, I'm a better version of myself. I can feel how beautiful you look. Aww. I'm gonna say a quick prayer. Father God, bless our union, bless this day. Allow us to sit in this moment and take it in for all that it is, to bask in it, to appreciate it, and after it's over, to reflect on it with great happiness. Please allow this union to be strong. Please allow our support systems to be strong and continue to be strong and for us to be blessed. We are two people in love together. We want to be together for a long time. In your name, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. 1 Corinthians 13 and 4, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Cameron and Lisa, you must lay down your lives, your selfish desires, passions, ambitions, and pride for each other. You must cherish the other more than you cherish your own self. Your mate now comes first. You must serve each other as Christ served. Then and only then will you truly fulfill your vow to love and to cherish. And all of this wonderfully ties into honoring your mate. As we begin our new lives together, I promise you these things. I promise to be committed to you, this marriage and this family. I promise to respect you, to pick you up when you're down, and to be the most dependable person in your life. I promise to wake up every day and choose to make you happy. I promise to make you laugh at least a little bit every day of your life, because I know you think I'm hilarious. <laughs> and, and I promise to protect you and to be the big supporter of your dreams and goals as we tackle life together. I look forward to making our future exciting, random, and full of memories. Today I get to marry you, my wife, my best friend, and my lifelong dance partner. <laughs> Cameron, I've spent many years preparing for this moment. The moment when I get to profess my love for you in front of all of our family and friends. I knew I'd always have so much to say, but was never quite sure how to put my overwhelming feelings into words. 
but I will try my best to bundle eight years worth of love and emotions into this one moment. It's amazing how one day someone walks into your life and suddenly you can't remember how you lived without them. I always thought it was such a coincidence that you sat beside me that one evening, that the one remaining empty chair at that dinner table happened to be right next to me. And in that moment, not once did I think anything would come of it. However, unbeknownst to me, none of this was a coincidence. You are the man the Lord made for me. I wasn't looking for love, but found it in that moment, even though I didn't realize it at the time. You came into my life when I was broken and no one else in the world knew. You've stuck by me through the best and the worst and loved all that I am. Okay. You got it, babe. You've helped me to be the finest version of myself that I can be. You are my best friend, my support, my balance. The yin to my yang. But most importantly, you are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could ever imagine and more love than I ever thought possible. As your wife, I promise to love you with the same determination and confidence you've given me. I vow to support you through ups and downs. I pledge to commit myself to our family and the good I know will come from it. I vow to wake up every morning and thank God that he gave me you, my perfect man. And I vow to be your steady rock in turbulent times. At the end of the day, I promise to stand by your side through life's most joyous moments and challenging ones. I swear I couldn't love you more than I do right now, and yet I know I will love you even more tomorrow. And I know I can conquer the world with one hand as long as you're holding the other. We have witnessed the pledging of your love and commitment to each other. We have seen the sealing of solemn vows of marriage by the giving and receiving of rings. It is therefore my joy and privilege to declare you husband and wife. Cameron, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Friends and family of the bridegroom, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Cameron and Lisa Hill. AKA Tayrogo. I met Lisa in high school and we became best friends. We have literally been through life together and we've been through the valleys, the mountains. And I just want to say that Cameron is definitely your peak. He is definitely your peak. And I am so glad that you two found each other. Y'all radiate love and everyone sees it. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for allowing these two souls to find each other. They make such a great team. I ask that you watch over them and guide them through this new chapter in their lives. In the good times and the bad times, I pray that they find comfort in knowing that they've got this because you've got them. Amen. For the past seven years, Cameron and Lisa have showed us the true meaning of love. They are perfect for one another. And all you have to do is take one look at them. And the idea of meant to be comes to its truest form. <laughs>